Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm the Director of Digital and Interactive Media at CAM, and we're here visiting our friends at the San Francisco International Film Festival. And right now I'm really honored to be with Director Leonard Rettel Helmerich, and he's the Director of Position Among Stars. So can you tell me a little bit about your film? Well, the film is actually the, the end of a trilogy. Uh, but you can see it separately. You don't have to see all this, the, the previous films. Um, well, it deals actually, it's about Indonesia and the changes in Indonesia, but from seeing from the perspective of one family. So the changes are mostly are about uh, the religious, um, politics and economy. In the time span of uh, 12 years, I made these three films, uh, but this last this last one I was there about 14 months during the graduation period I mean also before the graduation of the girl in the film mm -hmm. up until she went to school and even after I'm wondering if you could talk about the decision of making this film yeah well I first when I made the first film the eye of the day before that I wanted to make a film about the student demonstrations and soon movements in Indonesia and how they were trying to change and get Suharto the former dictator of his uh, throne uh, but the moment that happened uh, uh, so many other and reporters from outside of and all over the world were making portraits about the students so I thought my story is already told and then I noticed that what was happening in this family was actually a mic microcosmos of what was happening in the whole country. So I decided to focus on them. And uh, but all cinema verite, that means uh, from the inside, shooting and being part of the family, being part of the f the, the, the their real reality. I was really struck by the visual style of your film. Can you talk a little bit about, I know you have a certain filming technique, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I call it single shot cinema <coughs> and why? Uh, even though you do, when you see the scenes in the film they're still edited. Uh, but the thing is that I'm, when I'm shooting I am want to be part of the situation and the only way to shoot it from the inside and as part of the situation if you experience and also shoot the moments as in one shot. That doesn't mean that you are from a distance shooting, no, but you're, you are inside the situation itself and you try to tell the story with camera movements you, and be, you, you move your camera to every angle what actually expresses your personal feeling of what was ha is really happening. So I'm wondering if you could talk about constructing the story in the individual film and then maybe across the trilogy as well. Yeah, well the whole storyline is actually not constructed during, uh, uh, not at the forehand. It's all during shooting and editing. So I had my mind set in a certain direction, that is towards all the things that are, that are changing in Indonesia. That was things what dealt with religion, with politics and economy. So the moment there was something happening around that, I started filming. Um, and when I see things happening, I knew how to, where, what else I would need in order to make the story good, but still I would only have a number of scenes and I would, because I could not com control it, I could not, I mean, I don't want to intrude with them. I don't want to demand them and do things for me. No, it should be their real life. But I shot 300 of hours of material. I had enough footage to condense it and bring it into this one hour and 50 minutes. So mm -hmm. less than 1% I used yeah, actually. Wow. Yeah. I was really drawn to the titles of your film, so maybe it starts out as a superficial observation that the eye of day, the shape of the moon, position among stars, they were very poetic to me and I was really drawn to them. And it made me think of, um, there's sort of a poetry to the, fil the film, there's a poetry in the films as well, and I thought that was a really interesting mix with cinema verite. There's a sense of, ca uh, of capturing reality and observation, but um, you know, and maybe it's it's that there's poetry in life, but I'm wondering if you could talk about a beauty and sort of poetry that's a part of your films, as well as capturing the everyday. I see that there are poetic things happening, and sometimes humoristic moments, but also dramatic moments at the same time, mm -hmm. which is 
crazy, but that's real life. Mm -hmm. That's what I like about real life. Mm -hmm. And there are things happening of in real life that you could not even think of how you 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 could not even construct it yourself. When real life is bigger than life, why make fiction?